Hi guys, welcome to the gun shop, and today we're going to be taking a little look at this, the Fair Izide. That's probably a mispronunciation, it's spelled I-S-I-D-E, and if someone would like to correct me on that, I'd be happy to be corrected. So, this is made by Fair, or Rizzini, and is a side-by-side, -side, a modern side-by-side. -side. Straight hand stock, the works, single trigger, ejector, all for well under £2,000. Uh, I think these retail at about 15, 1600 so they're not ridiculous money, probably a lot more now actually. Um, so this, these figures could be wrong, don't pay attention, but it's less, considerably less than its competitor, direct comparison competitor, the Parallel 486 from Beretta. So, without further ado, let's come in and have a look. So, starting on the muzzle end, you'll see we have multi-choke, which is quite an odd thing for a side by side, but I suppose certainly not for a modern one. On the top, we have a nice old-fashioned non-Churchill inlaid rib with a small brass bead sight there. It's all rather nice, really, very classy, and on the bottom, obviously, a solid rib. The bottom is done with a forend, obviously, that has a push-button release. Uh, again, quite nice, actually. The whole thing is laser skip-checkered, or not quite skip-checkered, just a nice checkering pattern. There's no doubt that is a nice checkering pattern. Moving on to the action. On the action, as you can see, we have various game birds all over it. I believe we have a couple of partridges there. A partridge and a grouse, perhaps. And on the bottom, a woodcock with a fair eye side written on it. Uh, blue trigger guard, gold trigger, hollowed out, deep carved top lever with some beautiful light scroll on it. In fact, the scroll work on this is actually very nice, quite tight, very clean and crisp. Uh, the head work is a little bit different. It's not sort of a straight, straight box or anything, which is nice. And to be fair, what I'd usually say with anything along those lines is it would be prone to splitting, but this one hasn't split yet and it's been out of the shop for a year. Same checkering style pattern on the background with these sort of checkered teardrops, as opposed to actual teardrops, which is in the end of the world. Straight hand stock with some fairly nice grade two, grade three wood on there, and all finished up with a unexotic, but very utilitarian plastic butt pad. So, very nice indeed. So, here it is in the uh, slightly wider angle format. What do we think about it? Well. Firstly, represents great value for money. These are not an overly expensive side-by-side -side brand new. Secondly, what do we think about it? Actually, a bit front heavy. You know, it's sort of fairly comparable to a sleeve gun, and I think this one in 30 inch would probably be a lot nicer in a 28 inch, and this is a 20 bore, and it is still, say, quite front heavy. However, that does lend itself to a quite a steady swing for a 20 ball, but it just does feel like there's not enough in your right hand when it's up there. The straight hand stock, quite thick, uh, quite a modern deep gun, I suppose, in, in the grip regard, not particularly refined as an English sub side might be. However, it does come up nicely, and that's not a bad thing. Uh, this one's very left handed, but that's by the by again. Opening and closing, very easy, really nice shallow opening action there, very nice shallow opening action. Auto safety on the top lever and selective single trigger. I mean that's what really sells this gun, it's the fact that you can go out and buy yourself a side by side for less than £2,000 with all of the conveniences of a modern gun, 100% Italian built, 3 inch chambers, I don't know if it's steel proof, let me have a quick look. Steel proofed, three inch side by side that you can beat to death and not feel guilty about ruining a 50 year old gun that's been kept absolutely fantastic. It comes in a hard case with chokes, I mean it is the modern man's side by side if you're not wanting to stretch to Beretta money. Personally if it was me I do have a bit of, soft, of a soft spot for the breast side by side, and even then, if I was going to buy something like this, yes, it's a nice side by side for taking the hammering that you're going to give it. But if you're going to give a gun a hammering, buy one of these. I 
cheap over and under that takes three inch cartridges that's steel proofed or even worse one of these is semi-automatic you know but if you're after a gun to give a hammer to I think it's not worth buying a nice looking gun to hammer and if it was me buying a cyber side 20 bore although it's difficult to find I mean name nearly impossible to find under two thousand pounds a long barreled long stocked cyber side I really would like to go old-fashioned you know proper English hand built however that's not always the case the problem being is I've just been playing with a 486 Parallelo and they are such a gorgeous gun and even the one before that um, most of the subsidiaries have always been absolutely gorgeous little guns to handle and this just feels like a less quality version and I don't mean that in a bad way because it is an absolutely fantastic gun I say in terms of value for money it is very very nice there is just something about it that I can't quite get over and I, I just can't put my finger on it it's a lovely gun but I think this one's just maybe not for me. All of these things aside, if you're after a reliable side-by-side -side that shoots really well, I have shot these and they do shoot really well, I mean, you can't go far wrong, really. Firstly, you don't have a lot of choice. And secondly, I don't think it's a mistake. It's a lovely looking gun. It is a lovely, lovely looking gun. What more can I say?